Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is going to be another episode of Discord.py, making a Discord bot. And I believe this is episode 5. Um, so today I'm going to cover how to make a Wikipedia search command. So basically what this will do is when you do dash define or whatever your uh, command prefix in your command is, um, and then your context, it'll search Wikipedia and find the most relevant article and give you a brief over overview of whatever that topic is. <laughs> so, uh, real quick, before we get started, I just do want to apologize for being gone so long. I know a lot of you enjoy my videos. I've been getting some great feedback from you guys. So thank you um, to those who have been watching and stopping by in the comments to say what's up. I do appreciate it. Um, so, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So. I actually have the bot running right now. I'm actually doing this on my bot, which is Nugget 2.0. So I'm just going to do dash define. And what do we want to do? Let's do Google. You can see it gives the first, just about the first paragraph or two, and it, just a brief overview about what Google is and what it's about. So we can do, we can also do others like, let's do something fun like Naruto or something. And you can see it'll give us a brief overview of what Naruto is about. So let's jump right in to making this command. So the first thing that we want to make sure we have is we need to have the Wikipedia module installed. So if you just open up your command prompt and do pip install Wikipedia. For me, it'll say requirement already satisfied because I've already installed it. But if you haven't installed it already, then it will say collecting Wikipedia and it'll download that and you'll be good to go. Um, if you run into any errors, let me know in the comment what happens and I'll do my best to help you like always. So from here, we just need to do our basic bot setup since this is an entirely new uh, .py file. Um, I'm not going to make it a cog just because I want to save that for another video. So I'm going to do import discord. <coughs> And what I'm going to do from discord.ext import commands from discord.ext.commands import bot. Let's do asyncio os or date time. We're going to use date time for the on ready. Oops, import random random port and oops. And then lastly, we need the Wikipedia. So let's go ahead and get our bot prefix here. Command underscore prefix equals, and I'm just going to keep it the same as the other files because we don't want it to conflict. Um, let's go ahead and give it the owner ID because why not? I want to restrict this command in the future. Then I can do that. Let's give it a channel ID. And we'll, we'll just do the dev channel. Paste that bad boy in there. And then one thing that you want to do, you always want to make sure you do this if you're running multiple pi files for a bot. Um, um, whichever file does not have your uh, help command, like your embed or whatever you're using, you want to be do you want to be sure. Well, you want to be sure to do remove client dot remove underscore command, and then help. Oops, help. And what that does is just gets rid of the default help command that um, automatically comes inside of the uh, Discord commands module. So now what we can do is we can make our already dot event. And I'm just kind of speeding through this because we've already covered how to do this stuff. So I don't want to take up too much time. So now we're going to say time equals date time dot date. Oops, that up. Date time dot date time dot now. Uh, how do we do this? Print wiki search um, online at 
once. And then let's do dot format time. Now we can define our wiki summary. Pass in arg. And this, what this part is doing is we are creating a section that will, this, this, all this basically handles what I'm typing right now is, uh, which part of the article will it grab? So we, we're going to have, say the first three sentences and the first 1000 characters, uh, whichever comes first. So we're going to create a variable we're going to say definition equals Wikipedia dot summary. We're going to pass in a few things here. So we're going to say arg, we're going to say sentences, oops, sentences equals three. We can say characters equals 1000. And then we can also do, let's do it like this, auto suggest equals true. Jeez, I can't type. And then redirect equals true. So what this um, does here is we created a variable called definition. And just basically says that uh, when we search for something, it's going to grab either the first three sentences or the first 1,000 characters, whichever comes first. And then this auto suggest true here is if you search something that it can't find an article on, then inside of your command line, when you run the bot, it'll give you suggestions like um, you searched whatever and it can't find something. Did you mean to search this? It'll 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 try to give you suggestions on if it doesn't understand something, what you might have meant. Um, so we got redirect true. Let's do return definition. Oops. Return definition and then let's do client dot event oops sync diff on message and we're going to pass in message so what this part is going to do right here is we're going to create a variable called words and we're going to say message dot content dot split and then under that, we can say import, important words equals words like that. Oops. Um, so what this is doing is it's going to, when you do dash define, we don't want it to look up the word define as part of what it's looking up. So if, when we did uh, dash define Google, we don't actually search Wikipedia for define Google, we just want to search Wikipedia for Google. So what this is doing is it's going to split words into two different parts. So it's going to skip the first word, which is define, and then everything after that. So now we can say if message dot content dot starts with dash define and some of you might be wondering um, why I'm doing this as an on message command and um, just the reason I'm doing that is because it's easier when I once I created this um, event um, since I already have this event created it's it's easier to just create the command inside that event so you can say I remember how to do this. Okay, words. And then important words equals words. And we're going to do the same thing as before. Oops. And then search equals discord dot embed. And then right here is where we're going to create our embed message. 
So we're just gonna say title equals searching, and then let's put let's put like that, yeah. And then let's set the description equals wiki sum summary important words. Don't worry, I'm gonna go over this once I've gotten this down again. And then for color, we can say discord dot color dot purple. And make a new line here. And then we can actually send that message. So await message dot channel dot send content equals none. Embed equals search. Okay, and then we can just do client dot run token and then put our token <laughs> go ahead and copy this don't worry I'm gonna reset this after the video I'm gonna save that and that should be it uh, let's see let me go ahead and get rid of this other one Did. Which line is that? Line 23. Let's go to line 23. Ah, okay. There we go. Simple mistake with that. Wiki search online. So let's make sure that's not open. The bot is running. So now we can do dash define. Let's do. YouTube. And there you go. Searching YouTube is American online video sharing platform headquartered in San Bruno, California. And it will give you the first 1,000 characters or the first three sentences. Let's do, let's do a few more. Let's do uh, dash define python. I'm not sure if it's going to give me the animal or the, like the snake or the yeah, there we go. Python is an interpreted high-level general purpose programming language. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, dash define Java. There you go. Uh, oh, it's talking about the islands. Island of Java. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, you can see that that works pretty well. Um, if you want to just write down this code as I want as a, if you were writing down the code as I went along that's perfectly fine um, uh, you can just edit a few things to have it suit the needs for your bot um, for example if you wanted to make it show the entire article all you have to do is increase these values here um, and if you want to clean up your terminal a little bit you can just set this to false you can set auto suggest to false so that way if you search something that it doesn't recognize, it's not going to tell you that in the command line. Um, but I, I do recommend keeping that as true. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you found this helpful and useful or just plain entertaining in any way, shape, or form, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe because I will be posting a lot more videos. Also be sure to hit that bell notification icon so you get notified every single time I post a new programming video. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching, stay safe, I'll catch you next time, peace.